Thank you, Vishal. Thank you, Vivek. I'm excited to be part of FOSS Hack 2021. Let me quickly share my slides. I hope you're able to see my screen. Um, so hey all, good afternoon, good morning. Uh, this is Cynthia. I lead community engagement uh, at Digital Ocean for APAC Markets. Um, and I'm excited to be part of FOSS Hack 2021 and walk you through about some of the open source initiatives and programs at Digital Ocean. Digital Ocean is a value-driven organization and we strongly believe that our community is bigger than just us. And one of the ways we um, give back to the community is by contributing to open source. And today I'm going to cover about how we do it, um, how we incorporate open source into our products, how we support open source uh, community, some of the programs, and of course, give you highlights about Active Affairs 2021. So how do we contribute to open source, right? We use open source software in our own products. We also open source um, a part of our own code base. And uh, uh, of course, similar to FOSSHAT, we participate in open source events, we sponsor events. We also contribute to open source projects and sponsor open source projects. I'll get into details into each of these in the coming slides. So in this slide, I've given you a high level overview of how we support the community, how we enable users, how we contribute upstream and release our own projects. Um, so I'll tell you how we do it, what we do exactly, and who does it. Um, in terms of supporting community, as most of you may know, um, we organize Hacktober Fest every year. We are a part of CNCF um, uh, membership, we are CNCF members. And how we do it is when we uh, host these events, we also offer hosting credits. Uh, like um, I will be sharing a hosting credit link uh, for FOSS Hack as well in the coming slides. Uh, we sponsor events um, and we also support in promoting events. Um, and who does it? It's the DevRel team or the developer relations team and the community engagement folks who help support community. In terms of enabling users, we do via API wrappers, Terraforms, and of course, this is through code base and it's the product team uh, who does it. Um, in terms of contributing upstream and releasing our own projects, uh, some good examples are Kubernetes, Netbox, and again, this is through Codebase, and the engineering team, Scosia. So why do we support open source, right? Open source technologies fuel innovation and growth, and we believe that this is very important for the growth of uh, startups and uh, new age businesses. Um, we want to give back to the community, and by doing this, uh, we believe that we help developers to spend more time to build what they love, which is coding, to build exciting projects, uh, to build exciting software. Um, we've seen what open source is at a very high level. Now let's see what are some of the digital ocean open source programs. Uh, first, I'm going to walk you through um, the, at a product level. So like many companies out there, DigitalOcean also utilizes open source software within its products and services. And some of the examples are CloudInit, Packer, Kubernetes, etc. A typical uh, caller that I would like to make here is our recent platform as a service offering app platform is also powered by open source. We've seen about the product side. Now let's move on to the projects. Um, another testament to how much we love open source is, in fact, many of the tools that we use uh, are open source. For example, uh, Captain's Log, uh, Omnia uh, Digital Ocean, etc. Now uh, you can learn more about it using the link I'm going to share on chat. Um, you can also go to Digital Ocean website. There is an open source section where you can find all details about open source and how Geo supports open source. Now we've seen about products, we've seen about projects, moving on to sponsorships. Um, we give back to the open source community by sponsoring uh, projects. And if you have a project and if you'd like to request the sponsorships, please use the link that you can see on the slide to know more details about it. I will also be happy to share the link on chat with you. And again, as I said, you can go to DigitalOcean website. There's an open source section where you can find more information about it. Um, I wanted to break through and show you a good uh, testimonial slide about how the community influencers talk about DigitalOcean and open source. For example, Jeremy Stretch here says, happy to announce that DigitalOcean has joined NS1 and Stellar Technic as an official Netbox sponsor. This likely comes as no surprise given Dio's instrumental role in the project's early development and open source release. It's amazing to see how much love we get from the community and how they recognize us for our support uh, in terms of open source. 
So moving back, we uh, saw about the product, we saw about projects, we saw about uh, sponsorships, right? So now I'm going to speak to CNCF. For some of you who may not be aware of what CNCF is, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. So who is CNCF, right? They build the ecosystem. They foster collaboration between private cloud providers, public cloud providers, end users like you, open source enthusiasts, innovative startups, etc. And why do we sponsor? Because we truly believe that CNCF serves as a and the neutral home, um, you know, for many of the uh, fast growing projects like in GitHub um, with Kubernetes, Envoy, et cetera. And they foster collaboration between end users and open source enthusiasts like you. And we strongly believe like, that when we partner with CNCF and when we uh, sponsor uh, events with CNCF, we're able to join industry um, peers like you and, uh, you know, uh, contribute to the overall cloud uh, ecosystem. Um, lastly, I want to touch upon technical conferences, uh, similar to FOSSHAC that you're seeing today. Uh, DigitalOcean also supports uh, technical conferences, which um, encourage open source community, right? And uh, we do that in several ways. Uh, we present, uh, uh, we do tech talks, we host workshops, we even have virtual booths. Um, we also organize small group discussion sessions, etc. And I sincerely hope I can see you more um, in, in more community events um, in the coming future. And here's a quick link that you can use. All FOSHAC uh, participants can avail this uh, cloud credits. Uh, it's do.co forward slash FOSHAC. And I'm sure Vishal and Vivek and team will be sharing this with the community later. Uh, so feel free to use it and avail the credits. Right, Hacktoberfest 2021. Um, this topic has been of interest by a lot of folks in the community and Vivek and Vishal were interested to see some stats as well. So here it is, Hacktoberfest 2021. Uh, for some of you who may not be aware of Hacktoberfest, Hacktoberfest is a month long celebration uh, of open source software, right? It's organized by DigitalOcean during the month of October is where open source enthusiasts like you come together, they collaborate, they learn and exchange insights about open source technologies. This time we partnered with Appright, Intel, and DeepSource. And of course, we had a lot of community partners supporting us in promoting Hacktoberfest. There are several ways you could participate in Hacktoberfest if you are interested to participate next year. You could either be a contributor where you contribute to different projects. You could be a maintainer where you maintain multiple projects. You can be a mentor um, and you can also be an event organizer where it's not just DigitalOcean, which hosts Hacktoberfest events. Uh, as community uh, influencers, you can also request to host events. And there's an events team which takes care of evaluating your event requests and um, supporting you with event organizer kits, right? Uh, the next couple of slides are going to talk about the rules for contributors and maintainers. So basically, at a high level, uh, the person will have to complete four PRs, right? Four P, uh, pull requests required to complete across GitHub or GitLab. And these PRs should be tagged with Hacktoberfest accepted or Hacktoberfest label, and they will have to be either merged or approved by a maintainer. And a new rule that we brought in for harmony and peace of maintainers and contributors is adding a label containing spam or invalid the PR, right? So uh, as technology experts, as a technology e tech ecosystem and an open source community, we should also be responsible for healthy projects and encourage healthy projects and avoid spam. So which is one of the main reasons we brought this in order to maintain peace and harmony uh, in uh, amidst maintainers and contributors. Um, so I wanted to show you another snapshot of Hacktoberfest social engagement. Um, you can also go to Twitter and look at hashtag Hacktoberfest. You'll be able to see all the beautiful uh, responses and thoughts from our community about Hacktoberfest. And um, there is also an active Hacktoberfest Discord server, and that's the link on the slide that you can uh, get access to. I'll also be able to um, share this on chat with you. Um, Nevertheless, it's not too late. If you want to join the community, join the Discord server, you can also participate next year. Now, we've seen a lot about Hacktoberfest, what they are, what it is, um, uh, what our contributors, maintainers, et cetera. I want to share some stats from this year. Now, I'll have to tell you that these are not the final stats. The final stats will be published after 23rd November, uh, after a final recap is done. And we'll also be promoting blogs and social media posts about it. Um, but to start with, um, we had about 141K participants this year, and uh, they were spread across 194 countries across the globe. And we had, uh, we had about 51K users with at least one plus valid PRs. And I'm super excited to share with you that we had 
500 plus events organized across the globe. So as I told you earlier, it's not just Digital Ocean, which does Hacktoberfest events. There are um, community folks out there who do Hacktoberfest events on behalf of Digital Ocean. And we had about 500 plus happening across the globe. Some of the prominent companies uh, which participated in Hacktoberfest are IBM, Spotify, GitHub, et cetera. Um, so yes, um, I'm glad I got this opportunity to share with you about uh, some of the uh, open source initiatives of DigitalOcean and of course highlights of Hacktoberfest. Um, I wish you all the best uh, for Post Hack 2021 and uh, let's stay together as a community. Let's uh, encourage open source, let's contribute to open source. Like I said, our community is bigger than just us. Thank you all.